Hello, my design friends and non-designers. Welcome to 5-Minute Designs. Um, today we're going to be doing a cool illustration. Uh, quarantine, bored. I actually shaved my beard. I uh, don't think it looks great, but this is me now. <laughs> I have to live with it for a little bit. Uh, so mustache guy, here we are. Alright, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing an illustration on Illustrator. And then I'm going to show you guys and talk through it. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the uh, video. So I started this illustration off with the island. I knew I wanted to make a lighthouse, um, but I needed somewhere for it to sit. So I started with the island. And I didn't want it to be like cropped with the size of the image, which I think I made was like a five by five. Um, I wanted it to be freestanding. So that's why it kind of looks like a bean. Uh, but here I'm working on a lighthouse. I started with a red and white theme because, you know, traditional lighthouse. As you see, uh, or as you will see, it ends up being a different color. But it's good to start. Um, sometimes it's hard to get something on paper or screen, whatever you have it. Uh, but just starting, that helps a lot. There's some abstract clouds and stars that I made. I really needed to fill the, uh, the space that I had. So I started adding some things. There's some birds. Um, I used a, what, I don't know if that's the moon. That's the moon, yeah, it's the moon. I can't remember. <laughs> but I used a complimentary color because um, it went really, really well with the, the blues. And there you go. Like I said earlier, I changed it from uh, the traditional red and white to a cool blue. I really like the way that looked as opposed to the traditional red and white. I don't always use textures in my illustrations. Sometimes I like the flat look, but I thought this was a good piece to where I could use those textures. The sand and the ocean and everything. I just thought it gave a good rustic uh, vision, so that's what I ended up doing. Here's probably one of my favorite parts of my illustration process is when I get to add the shadows. They're kind of like the finishing touches. I really think it just takes your, your illustration to the next level. And there's more things I could have uh, added some detail to and stuff, but I did want to keep it pretty simple. Um, but again, I think they just add so much. There's so little. It's, it literally takes no time at all, but I think it adds so much to the piece. Here I'm adding rocks. They're not really necessary. Like I could have, I could have finished the piece without them, but I wanted to fill some more space in the middle, um, so that's what I did. I used rocks. This is pretty much the last thing I did to the piece. I'm adding uh, seashells and starfish. I felt like it was a little bare on the bottom left and I wanted to add a little bit more of that orange color uh, just to balance the top right hand side. Here's the piece completed. Um, I thought it turned out really cool. It took me about maybe an hour, an hour and a half. Uh, this is what it looks like all mocked up. Hopefully you guys like it. Maybe you'll uh, want to put it in your own home. Alright guys, that's all I got for this one. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe for me. Uh, hit that like for me. Give it a share. If you guys want to get a hold of me, talk about design, just say hi. I'll put my Discord in the link below. That's a great place to join and we can chat it up. I'm also going to have a link if you want to purchase a print of this design. That'll be in the description below. Um, that helps me out. It helps me make more of these videos, and it's just dope, uh, especially in this time of quarantine. Um, if you want a piece, go ahead and uh, hit that link below, and it'll tell you what to do. All right, guys, that's it. Until the next one, peace.